Good morning. Can you start by telling us a bit about yourself and your background in electrical engineering? Good morning. I hold a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from university and I have X years of experience working in the field. I've been involved in various projects, including mention a relevant project where I applied my skills in specific skills, e.g. power systems, control systems. That sounds impressive. Let's dive into some technical questions. Can you explain the concept of Ohm's law? That sounds impressive. Let's dive into some technical questions. Can you explain the concept of Ohm's law? Certainly. Ohm's law states that the current passing through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across the two points and inversely proportional to the resistance between them. Mathematically, it's expressed as I equals V slash R, where I is the current, V is the voltage, and R is the resistance. Great. Moving on to circuits, what is the difference between a series circuit and a parallel circuit? In a series circuit, components are connected end to end, and the same current flows through each component. In a parallel circuit, components are connected across common points, and the voltage across each component is the same, while the currents can vary. How do you calculate power in an electrical circuit? Power, P, is calculated using the formula P equals 6, where V is the voltage across the component and I is the current flowing through it. Alternatively, using Ohm's law, you can express power as P equals I squared R or P equals V caret 2 slash R, where R is the resistance. Moving to control systems, can you explain what PID control is? PID stands for Proportional, Integral, and Derivative. It's a control mechanism used to regulate processes. The proportional term responds to the current error, the integral term to the accumulation of past errors, and the derivative term to the rate at which the error is changing. Together, they help to improve the system's response and stability. Good explanation. Finally, let's talk about your experience. Can you share a challenging project you've worked on and how you overcame the difficulties? In specific project, we faced challenges with, mention the challenge, e.g., integrating complex control algorithms. To overcome this, I collaborated closely with the team, conducted thorough research, and implemented a step-by-step -step testing process. This approach helped us identify and address issues progressively, ensuring a successful project outcome. Thank you for sharing that experience. That concludes our interview. We appreciate your time and insights. Thank you for having me. I'm excited about the opportunity to contribute my skills and knowledge to your team.